Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you a quick tip that you can use when using the brush tool. Um, I believe this also works with the clone tool, but you would have to you know, have a specific purpose for using it for that. Um, today I'm just going to show you how I do it with the brush tool. Um, usually I use this technique uh, for layer masks. So if I need to remove something, um, this image is already edited. Um, but sometimes when I'm masking things off, there are straight edges like there are here in this image. And sometimes when using a brush that's circular, it's hard to get those edges straight. So today I'm going to show you a tip that you can use to um, help fix that. Um, now first, I think I have a couple splotches here on my layer mask already from messing around with this. Um, so I just had to clean that up really quick. Um, this edit is in its own little group and it has a layer mask on it. The layer mask is white, which means that whole group is showing everything um, on that layer is showing through. Um, so I'm going to switch my color to black and then I'm going to mask off this effect from certain portions of the image to show you this technique. Um, hope you're following so far. I'm going to grab my brush tool and make it small enough that it fits in the corner of the edge. Um, and I'm just going to click once with my mouse and then I'm going to place the cursor over the area that I want the line to stop. I'm going to press the shift key on my keyboard. If you're on a Mac, um, I believe that would be, what is that? No, it might still be shift. I don't know. I'll put it in the notes if it's different. Um, so I'm going to hold down my shift key and then I'm just going to click again with my mouse. And then as you can see, it masks off in a straight line. Um, now you can hold on your shift key again and click on another edge and follow the shape entirely um, around. And then this gives you a little leeway so then you can fill in the inside, if that makes sense. So I'm going to undo all this. And if you don't have you know straight edges like this, sometimes it works if you're applying a sky overlay um, in an image that has a fence or something straight across like that. Maybe an image has a sign um, and you apply a matte effect and you don't it looks kind of funny over the wood or the sign or whatever. Um, you can use this to help you with those straight edges. Um, and another thing it works well with is horizons. So here I'm going to show you um, this is at 100 percent and you might not always want to do it that strongly um, but I'm just gonna hit shift right here over this green patch of grass and then actually sorry not hit shift click my mouse once and then hold down shift and then click once again over here and as you can see the effect is completely removed from that portion of the image um, and that was just by holding shift and it made a straight line all the way across the horizon um, now you could do this with the entire bottom sorry hang on gotta undo that okay so um, I'm also undoing by using control alt shift if you're wondering um, you can also make your brush a lot larger and do it off the entire bottom portion of the image um, again it depends on the effect you're removing and what you want to do but um, use that shift key and click your mouse once hold down shift and then click your mouse again and it creates a straight line between each of your mouse clicks so Hope that makes sense, and I hope it helps. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com, or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography.